Good evening, everyone. How the devil are we doing? Uh, Max, GG, good evening, folks. Uh, even though I feel any better, I'm feeling a lot better today. Thank you, mate. Um, I'll be better if my game loads. Um, yeah, feeling a lot better today. Thank you, mate. I'm still dosed up on vitamins and tablets and all that good stuff, but I'll, I'll be all right. Um, we're carrying on with some money tonight. I think I want to get a few more things boxed off in this colony, um, and then I think we'll probably take a couple of days off from it. Um, and maybe play some other games before we come back. But at the moment, from the last stream, just a little bit of a recap, we've done quite a lot, really. Um, we've got quite a developed base, although I've not really explored a lot of the map. Um, and I'm also... I don't have a cursor. Hello. Hello. There we go. Um, we've, we've got quite a developed base. We've got quite a large area uh, reserved for our base. We've got this big rocket ship design, which I fucking love. Uh, but we've not really done much exploring, so I want to try and do a bit of exploring today and see if we can explore a bit more of the map, see what some of our other biomes are, see whether we've got ice biomes or slime biomes or whatever. I know we've still got a lot of slime up here that we can get to, um, but I don't know if this area up here is all hot and miserable or if it's more sleep weety goodness or, you know. So I want to do some um, a bit more exploring. Um, to recap some of the things we did in the last stream, uh, we saved our shine bugs. Um, from extinction. Uh, these were previously about to die out and we've now rescued them. It does mean that we keep having a population boom and some weird flying insect in here. Uh, we do keep getting a weird population boom in here but honestly I'm fine with that. We don't really need the food. Uh, I don't want to cook all the eggs at the minute. We've got shit loads of eggs. Um, we sort of discontinued our normal Drecos in here and we just sort of left these wild for now. We're still wrangling our glossy ones and we've still got eight in here that we're shearing for plastic as and when they need it. Um, and we just did a few odds and sods around the base as well. We put some nicer beds in and a few uh, bits and bobs here and there. Um, we also got this power, uh, natural gas power up and running. So we've got a build set up now for natural gas uh, generators. And we've also got our fertilizer synthesizers that are now actually kicking out some fertilizer. Uh, we also went down into our oil biome. We put some extra suits in and got down into our oil. And we've started wrangling our first molten slickster. Um, the first of many hopefully. Uh, we also set up our sage hatchlings and we've now got them up here in the base and these are just basically generating us some coal um, and we also we did a little build with our little goldfish. <gasps> we have another goldfish! Um, so yeah we've got a little goldfish build here as well. This seems to be slightly fucked at the minute and I'll explain why in a moment. Uh, but yeah, we did quite a lot in the last stream, so I want to sort of carry on the momentum today and try and get a few more bits and bobs done. Now, I'll just explain. I played for a couple of cycles, uh, partly because I was taking some screenshots for somebody earlier. Um, I basically played for like a, a cycle, and I've just done a couple of quick fixes around the base. So first of all, I noticed we had a, a shit ton of slime lung in here. So what I've done is I've replaced the water that was in this airlock, and put a little bit of petroleum in here, courtesy of our little Slickster dude, um, and also slapped in a wheeze warp. So hopefully we'll cool this room off. I've put in some plastic ladders here because I noticed there was quite a lot of slime lung being um, lurking around on the ladders. So I've put some plastic ladders in that will hopefully help kill off some of the germs as well. Um, one of the other things I did, um, I removed this ceiling here and put some pumps down, some, some bottle empties, sorry, so that we can keep, keep dumping our polluted water in here. Um, but I noticed we've got a problem. So I had to rip out some automation. One of our, um, our hydro sensor that was here has become covered with normal water. Okay. And our water is pooling up in this single tile here. Which meant that our, our hydro sensor was detecting a small amount of clean water. And constantly pumping in more polluted water. Which meant that we had nearly two tons of polluted water in this tile. Which was not good. So I've slapped in another, another hydro sensor on an AND gate. So there's a little AND gate here now. And it just gives us two tiles potentially that hopefully won't get fucked up. Um, I'm not happy about this. We need to figure out a way to fix this. But for now... I just want to get some more gulp fishing in and see what happens. So that's the plan. Uh, Mr. Revolution, good evening. How are you, buddy? Uh, got a volcano in the oil biome. Nice spinner. Uh, acid or some other tablets. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no such luck, XP. It's not going to be that sort of stream, mate. Not going to see me stroking furry walls and stuff. Do you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, that's about it basically. I've not I've not played much of this since we were last here. Uh, literally about a cycle really. And it was more so I could take a couple of screenshots for uh, one of the threads on the forums. Um, I have also I'm going to cancel all these sweep commands. Um, I've also changed all our compactors at the top of the base because I had a lot of idle dupes. So what I've basically done is made all of our compactors just priority five now um, and turned off sweep only. 
So if our dupes are ever out of stuff to do, they can just do some, some tidying up, basically. Um, one problem we have found is, as we've explored over here, there's been a bit of an oil spill. So we've now got a damage overheated thing, which, as you all know, triggers the hell out of me. So at some point, we're going to have to get down here and fix this. But I'll probably wait for this oil to drain away um, a little bit further first. For some reason, we've not got access here at the minute. I'm not sure why. Yeah, so that's about it, really. Um, I want to crack on today. I want to do some more Slickster wrangling. We do have another Slickster egg, uh, but before we deal with that, I think this has got a little bit of time before it hatches. Uh, before we deal with that, I'm going to deal with this gulpfish, because um, we do have a gulpfish egg. Now, what problem did we encounter last time? It was the heat in here, wasn't it? It was too hot. So maybe we should do... Maybe we should do like what Mex said. And we'll deconstruct these buildings here. And we'll put in a couple of insta traps um, and try and catch it immediately. So we'll have like one there, one there, or something. Um, and we'll get him, we'll get him collected and wrangled. Uh, goldfish egg, go. Uh, one thing I'm going to address in a minute as well is our job priorities. Our, our priorities are all fucked, so I'm going to have a look at our sub priorities in a minute and see if we can get things figured out so it's a bit more efficient. Um, when do you think we'll see a critter that can run on hamster wheels so you don't actually have to ever do anything but ranching? Soon, I would imagine. We're going to get some sort of monitor lizard style six-legged running running critter, I reckon, to turn us. Yes, I, un I understand the facetiousness in your tone, mate. <laughs> How's it going, mate? You all right? Oh, shit. Yeah. Um, I did actually do a little post on the forums in the uh, in R9's biology thread earlier, by the way, guys, from what we found last night with the uh, the gulpfish. You know, it's sort of, it can pull water from anywhere. It doesn't have to be in the polluted water to actually drink, um, which is quite interesting. I did have a few ideas of how we can maybe make the tank a lot smaller, like the actual liquid side of it. Um, so I might do some ripping out and dicking about with this tank today. I'm not sure. I might even do it now. Um... Critter for that, it's called a dupe. <laughs> Maybe it's solar panel building. Yeah. Um, yeah, my thinking is if these if these gulpfish can draw water from anywhere. Um, like now, he's he can he doesn't have to be drawing polluted water from here. And he's outputting it to, you know, here in essence. I don't know what the maths is, I don't know how, how he senses where the water is. But I've noticed him like now he's sat in oil. Even though he's sat in oil, he's still emitting water at 200 grams a second. He's using polluted water and emitting water at 200 grams a second. And we can see that down here as well. Um, or actually, he's building up his water at the moment. Ah, he was, hold he was building up his water and then releasing it where he can. Let's see. So he won't emit the water when he's in crude oil. Like now, he's in polluted water. Oh no, it's building up again. I think they need a fresh tile to go to. I've got a feeling it's something like that. Because now that he's in oil, if you look, he's at 1,994 grams. Like nearly 2 kilos. He'll move to that tile and now he's pissed it out. So maybe he can't emit the water if he's in a different liquid. But we'll uh, we'll do some figuring out. I kind of want to get my head around this. Um... But for now, this is sort of shut down a little bit until he, uh, until the water gets consumed a little bit. Uh, we seem to have got two of these eggs. I don't quite know how that happened, but I'm fine with that. So yeah, I've got some problems with priorities and stuff at the minute. Um, I want to turn ranching down for quite a few dupes. Um... So, like, some of these, I don't really want them to be ranching. Just that we get a bit of work done. Maybe it was actually one of our... Yeah, I think Ruby was one of our first ranches, wasn't she? Yeah, do something like that. Just so we can actually get some of these priority nine jobs done, because all they want to do at the moment is ranch, because I've had it set up. It's no good. 
Uh, Prior, good evening, buddy. How's it going? Uh, hi, I've been catching up on the YouTube archives. Good stuff. Nice race, bro. Good evening, bud. I literally, the reason I'm late tonight is I was fanning about with YouTube, so I'm sorry I was sort of like 15 minutes late, guys, but YouTube upload, fucking nightmare, honestly. Just the worst. Right. I want to get this put in here. I'm try and get them captured straight away. I, I kind of want to see what happens to this water when we've got more than one fish in here. If it starts making like tiles of um, clean water all over the place then I've sort of got a problem so I want to get a couple more fish and see what happens. I can always capture them in that tank and uh, move them somewhere else for now. Come on, somebody come and get rid of this tile. What the fuck? You see salt coming with the tank. I'm sure you're not wrong, Max. I'm surely going to get mad. But listen, it's something new. I want to figure it out. I'm trying to avoid doing all the same old shite. Uh, we've got a ridiculous amount of like oxygen there, by the way, because if we've got this deodorizer up here. We've got like 20 kilos in this tile. But what I've noticed is uh, polluted oxygen is off-gassing. Uh, or sublimating a lot more than I would have expected it to. Uh, and I don't know why. I don't know if they've removed the limits. Uh, but if you look in this room, we've got like shitloads of, of oxygen and polluted oxygen. Um, these used to cap out at like two kilos or something. And now they seem to have either removed the limits or it's because these compactors at the bottom are partially submerged in carbon dioxide. I don't really know. But... It's strange nonetheless. You used to be able to overpressurize your slime room with a different gas, and that's what I thought would happen in here. It ain't. We're just pissing away uh, polluted oxygen into the wild. So I'm not sure why, but we probably need to have a look at that as well. Uh, at some point. For now, I'm just going to slap a wheeze water in there and hope we can cool it down. I kind of want to get rid of all this fucking polluted dirt as well. Right, so I want some dupes on like high priority building. That's what I want. So maybe some of these that aren't doing any ranching. I want them really high on building. I'm digging. So we can actually get some stuff done. Right. Uh, how close are you to being hatched? 36% and 23. I'm hoping this will catch them. I might put a couple more traps in just to be safe. And if the last stream taught us anything, I think that when they're in the traps, nothing happens to them. They'll just sit there happily. So we'll just leave them going. Um, and hopefully that'll be fine. Mm -mm. I think I'm a little bit confused why my dupes are all going so crazy. Maybe we'll turn storage down. Maybe they'll get to doing some jobs. Uh, now, yeah, we do have another slickster, slickster egg down here. Uh, the only thing I thought of, I can't put my um, incubator in this room because it's going to be too hot. It's going to get really fucking hot in here. Um, if you remember, we did have a mechanised air, uh, pneumatic airlock here, but it melted. So I removed the airlock and put two more mesh tiles in. Um, then deconstructed the ladder and put this thing in. That's why I've got some igneous rock around here. Um, but I can't put an incubator in here. So I was going to build a little room here. And then I thought, well, shit. Oh, piss on it. Fuck ass. Um, all right, we've got polluted water in our oil. That's really annoying. Um, I was going to put a little platform underneath here to like collect the petroleum because if we breed a little molten slicks to here, um, then he's going to emit polluted ox uh, petroleum. But I think I'm going to do it slightly differently. Um, I think we'll do something like this. 
uh, oh shit, I need three tiles for this thing, don't I? I need, I basically, I need a space to incubate some of these molten slicks just so I can start getting them producing and making more babies. Yes, there's a lot of polluted water down here. Well, actually, there's not a lot of polluted water. There was a tile here. And I tried to get it boxed in. And obviously, my dupe has built the thing and forced the water down. So we've now got some trolley water here. I'll try and get some of this mopped up. But it's very annoying. Very annoying. Not much I can do about that. Not much that can be done about that. Yeah, I want to build a little place where we can wrangle some... Um, or uh, grow some slicksters. I think I'll do it here, maybe. Yeah, I think I'll do it here. I've been thinking about this little room a little bit. I, I'm going to want to put a pump in here. The only problem is this oil is going to be at 150. Uh, petroleum is going to be like minimum 150 degrees. And it may go a lot higher. Um, so sorry, I want to put a pump in here, ultimately. There's going to be a pump in this space here. The problem is I need to cool that pump. I need to cool the pump without really cooling my um, molten slicksters down. So I'm thinking we'll put some tiles through. Maybe some pipes, pipes through the tiles or something like that. Maybe even just a couple of weeds warts, I'm not, I'm not sure. You're now using the fish drop-off to kill critters, you son of a bitch, Mix. Disgusting. Disgusting. Um, let's make this four high. Let's do something like this. Disgusting, Mex. How dare you? Yeah, I'm gonna need to like maybe put some metal tiles in here or something, and cool off the uh, the area as I say, because otherwise these these slicksters are gonna be eating toasty hot carbon dioxide and pissing out petroleum that's really hot, and I'm not gonna be able to collect it. So that's that. I could just put some some mesh tiles here and then make a little cooling area down here maybe. Don't know. I'm a little bit indecisive on how I want to do this. Because wherever my molten slicksters are, I need to be able to wrangle them, i.e. trap them, move them back into this room. Um, I don't really want them to piss petroleum out, although in fairness, now this is filled with fucking water, it doesn't really matter. Hmm. Let me think for a minute. Maybe I'll just do it right here. Do a really deep, deep little thing just to, just to grow them. I think that would be fine. Just slap an incubator in here. Should be fine. I think these incubators can get to like 140 degrees anyway, so we should be alright, I think. Now one of these circuits... I think it's this, this one here. Should be able to give us some power. And we'll just run that down, like so. That should be fine. Um, just leave the egg to hatch on their own. No, I don't want to, Max, because I want to try and get the numbers up in here quickly. I don't want to just leave it to hatch on its own. If I leave it to hatch on its own, I've got to wait feckin' ages before I've got eight in this room. I want to I want to get eight up and running so I can start making some petroleum. Because I've got so much carbon dioxide, it seems dumb not to be using it. Seems real dumb. So what I might do here... Let me just think about this. I might do something like this. I've 
got no wool for my... I've not, I've not refined any metals, have I? Um, what should I... Should I start feeding them a little bit of wool for my instead of gold? Let's do that. I've not got much wool for my at the minute, but I can dig some out. I've literally, I've not, I've not really done any um, much rock granulator stuff. So I've not got the usual metal supplies that I normally would. So we'll start getting some of this dug out. And some of you as well. Why not? If I dig all that shell. Uh, by the way, can you tell me if you can hear my um, fan in the background, by the way? Uh, if you can hear it, let me know and I will turn it off. But it's another balmy day here today in sunny England, which is uncharacteristic. Can't hear it. Cool. Thank you, bud. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Why are you not reached up? Oh, of course, there's some snow in the way. Oh, I should have mopped up all this water. Should have got this water mopped up a long time ago, so we've now got all polluted oxygen in here, which sucks a little bit. All this sleet wheat as well. Oh well, that'll be fine. Oh, sorry. Thank you very much for the host, buddy. Much appreciated. You're good. Thanks, Elvie. Thanks, bud. How are you this evening, mate? You all right? Uh, let's dig out some more of this crap as well. Doing well starting the new colony. Nice. What happened to your old colony? I have to ask the question. What went wrong? What happened? Or you just decided to start afresh? Oh shit, our other goldfish has died. Okay, it's time we started getting some algae, I think. Um, I can either... Oh, I've got some tungsten already. Uh, I can either... Uh, let me just get this in place before I forget. I can either use some bio distillers, which would be fine, or I could just dig some out for now. Ezekiel, good evening. How's it going, buddy? How are you, mate? Mm, decisions, decisions. Uh, let's use a little bit of diamond. Just, uh, not there. Diamond. That'll be doors, that'll be tile. Diamond. <clears throat> How are you, mate? How's it going? I uh, got frustrated with bad guys, so I went and found a seat. That's some interesting ones. Nice. So oh, I don't blame you, mate. Don't blame me. I've been there, man. I understand. I understand. Uh, bubbles, bubbles. What do you what do you not know how to do bubbles? Uh, I'm assuming you could do all that. Have you done this? No. Uh, I've got quite a few people that are close to being completed on a lot of this stuff now, which is cool. I don't know who's missing from architect. Maybe I've got somebody that can't build. I don't remember. Uh, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Uh, let's get this dug out. Eighty-six, Quite like to get in here and get this mopped up. Oh shit, no, our goldfish hasn't died. He's just hiding. Oh, 
Why is he spitting out so many eggs? Where did we get three goldfish eggs from? It's another one. We've got four goldfish eggs. How did this happen? Change per cycle. 67% per cycle. After an egg's laid, reproduction is rolled back to zero. We get an egg every cycle and a third. Holy shit! And they live for 25 cycles. Holy fuck, that's a lot of eggs. Holy shit! Um, I did not expect it to be that many eggs. We're gonna need a lot of algae. A lot of algae. Uh, let's start clearing out some of this crap. Um, and I think it's time we headed out here a little bit. Because we've got a lot of what I need up here. Algae, coal, all, all good stuff. In fact, we've, how much coal have we got now? We ran out at one point. We've got 25.6 tonnes. So our sage hatches have started doing some good work. Which is nice. Too many eggs. I, I didn't realise they, they gave eggs that quickly. That's crazy. Change per cycle 67%. Happiness one. How can we make him happier? Does his happiness not go up to, go up to four like other critters? Or hmm. uh, right, we'll get this done. Uh, I might do this out of insulated pipe, you know, because I'm a bit unsure how the new uh, abyss light pipe changes are affecting things. So we'll do that with insulated up to there. Um, I probably should have done some sort of sensor here. I think, I think I'll move this upper tile. I think that's what I'll do. So that we can let a little bit of liquid always be in here. Um, so that our hot liquid is dropping into a pool of cooling liquid, if that makes sense. And then we can do some of this. And hopefully this won't be too toasty hot. It might be toasty hot. We'll see. I can always slap a ladder in down here and get access to it if we have any melting problems or anything like that. But I'm hoping it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Um, let's do... Uh, yeah, we can do this. 